Panorama TV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich, and you're watching Adorama TV. Adorama is the place that I go to buy all of my photo and video equipment. In this episode of Exploring the Creative Process, I'm going to talk about the magic hour. Now, everyone in the photography world understands and knows what the magic hour is, but, but I just want to hit home the importance and the value of, of why we like to shoot in this light. Now, the magic hour is really that first hour of the day and the last hour of the day. That's as the sky starts to glow and as the sun comes over the horizon and it's as that sun is going over the horizon and, it, and you get that last glow of light at the end of the day. Several years ago I had the opportunity to go on a, an editorial assignment to Lake Clark National Park in Alaska. It was an incredible trip where we floated almost 200 miles down the Chilicondratna River. But like anything in Alaska, the way you get to the locations is just as exciting as your adventure. We took float planes or small planes from Anchorage, Alaska into Lake Clark National Park, then another small float plane to a remote lodge, uh, and then another float plane to our final jumping off point where we started floating the remote Chilicondratna River. So the morning that we were getting ready to do our final flight and get dropped off for our 200 mile float trip, I, of course, as a photographer, get up early. I like to get up before the sun has come up and start looking for opportunities. I'm always hunting for photographs. And that, I think, we all, it's a characteristic that, that we have to have as photographers. We're always curious. We're always interested in the world around us. So I'm outside. The sun, I'm, there's just a sliver of light in the sky. It's just enough glow that I can orient where the sun is coming up. I notice that there's a fog rising up from the lake. Now I'm starting to get several ingredients. When you start layering the ingredients or the elements that make a great photo, you're always hoping for one more layer that will make the photograph more interesting. So we have beautiful sky, the sun is rising, so it's the magic hour, it's the right light, I'm there at the right time of the day. I have this cool float plane sitting on water that's reflective. I see there's a little fog or haze rising off of the lake. As soon as there's enough light, I start taking pictures. I'm on my D3, Nikon D3. Of course, now that would probably be the D4S, 17 to 35 millimeter Nikkor f2.8 lens. And I'm just hand holding, I'm shooting. I started a fourth of a second to 800 ISO. And as it's getting brighter and brighter, of course, I'm adjusting my exposure. I'm lowering my ISO, I'm increasing my shutter speed. Just as the sun starts to crest the mountain in the background, and I'm making a beautiful photograph. It's a photograph of a float plane, the lake, the mountain, the sun flare, all of it's cool. And then that extra element occurs. One of the guys from the float plane operation starts loading the plane just in front of me. And this is, this is the magic. This is what happens when you're outside in the right place. The light's nice. You've done everything in your power to arrange the situation, stack the cards in your favor, and you get that added element and boom, you start making really interesting pictures. They go from good to possibly great. And of the many, many pictures, thousands and thousands of pictures from this trip, from this float trip, this is one of my favorites. And it's because it all came together. I was outside during that magic hour. I found an interesting subject matter, built a composition, and then waited for my subject to walk through the frame. If you take anything away from this episode, I hope it's get there early and stay there late. Be outside, be in your environment during that magic hour. Utilize that first light of the day and the last light of the day because that light is one magic element in making stunning photographs. I'm Corey Rich, you're watching Adorama TV and uh, there's tons of free content just like this getting published on a regular basis. So if you don't follow us on our YouTube channel, please do and I'll see you soon. Thanks for listening. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest. There's all kinds of cool stuff that you can win. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.